Hello builders, it's Toronto the Builder here and uh, as you can see we're in the YouTube Flats uh, area that I created for doing things like uh, Don't Be a Boring Builder and uh, some of the snapshots and there's my volcano and things along those lines. Um, let's go ahead and clear up uh, the weather here. And uh, I'm here I'm here because I, I wanted to do a, a, another kind of a, a let's build or a, or a you know an, a sample build. Um, one of our la long-standing players, uh, when I was uh, when I was on with Corn the other day and and uh, we were we were playing, and I said, well, sure, didn't you see my latest uh, you know video that I put up? He said, no, I haven't uh, seen many of them lately because you know they're all about survival. So uh, I apologize. Um, I, I I did uh, you know call myself Toronto the Builder for a reason, um, but uh, every now and then it's 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 hard to come up with a a good example of you know something to do something to to show folks. So anyway, um, you, you're like, well, why do I have two of these things? Um, no, I'm not actually going to take this and show you how to make this because, as you can see, it's it's really quite easy. Uh, no, what happened was is I I built one of these. Uh, and then I started adding bushes around it, and when I looked at it, I was like, hey, that looks like, an, like a little English garden or a fountain or something like that. And so it just kind of blossomed from there. Um, <laughs> so, I, I mean, if you're looking for a, for a square or, a, you know, just an, an accent feature um, for, your, for your world, for your garden, um, you can certainly, uh, there, there's quite a variety of the stone, especially if you're in creative and you don't have to find these guys. Uh, then obviously, you know, you have quite a, a variety of things that you can use. You can use glowstone, you could use torches. I happen to uh, just have stuck a redstone torch inside of there so I can light these up. If there's one thing that I do wish they would do, I wish they would come up with a, um, um, I want to say a button or a, or a switch that wasn't so large. You know, basically having to have this kind of thing sticking on top of something you know, oh, well, that's great, you know, it, it's powered, yeah, but, you know, it looks unsightly. Now, I've tried, in some cases, to work them into lanterns, kind of as angled brackets and braces and stuff like that, but it doesn't always work, so. So, anyway, so this one I turned into a fountain in the little garden. Um, at one point, I was debating uh, making these, I had made these out of wood, uh, and I left a hole in the middle, and uh, basically they were wooden benches. So you could do it that way. You could put a little, a little tree in the center. Um, all sorts of stuff you can do. Um, so anyway, this is just a small version. Of whatnot. Uh, but what I actually was going to build um, is I was going to go and work on um, a clock tower. Uh, kind of like a, a, a tall Big Ben style clock tower uh, and I wanted to make it so that it could actually it could ring um, and we're gonna do that by utilizing um, the day the daytime sensors and um, well there's a couple different things you can do uh, I believe based on the new additions in 1.7 that you can certainly go and use command blocks uh, to detect various things uh, and that certainly is, is one option that you have um, but in case you are trying to do it in in survival and you don't have those oops, we're gonna try and use uh, daylight sensors basically um, so that when it um, I think I'm going to have enough room based on this floor plan um, because essentially it's going to be m mostly this tall kind of going up. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, so that, that hopefully will, will suffice for what we're trying to do. Um, hmm. So we'll we'll see. Um, I I would like to make it so that it basically it rang two times. Uh, I would like to have it so that uh, when it um, when to when a bleh, when daylight first hits, that you basically have um, a, hmm. no, I don't want that. What do I want? Something like that. I don't really want that either, although I suppose it could work. 
And I didn't, really didn't want those holes there. I wanted something where this, like, something like that, where it it was over on that side, and I guess I'm not going to be able to get that. Well, I suppose it could be an accent feature. Um, you know, what is that? Is that a hole? Uh, no, it's an accent feature. Well, it looks like a whatnot shelf to me. Sorry, that's a Bill Cosby routine. Um, yeah, when he was in, uh, no matter what he made, you know, in, in shop class, he would yeah, mess it up, he'd put two grooves in it, and uh, be like, well, what is that? It's an ashtray. Oh, I think I got this shoe polish in it. Well, I don't know, build them that way, you know. Uh, why is that messing up like that? Come on. There we go, okay. Now, now in a way, that, that actually kind of works, because you see the way the blocks are, it actually looks almost like there's a lintel across the top of that door, which is, of course, why I'm doing it. So, so yeah, um, I I posted. Um, hmm, what did I post? Whoops. I guess I should continue across here like that. Uh, I posted the first part of the Christmas Village from Survival, and uh, see there. Since I'm not doing Survival, I'm going to talk about Survival. And so, yes, we're we're doing our best to essentially to get. Um, I, unfortunately, I think it's going to fall to me, or possibly Corn and I, because Minault will be uh, at his mom's until Christmas Day, and then uh, I will probably be on some Christmas Day in the morning. Um, I will probably not be on in the afternoon um, because uh, essentially uh, I have uh, I, I do have to go get soccer chick to and Minol and then we will be heading to my parents' house for Christmas dinner. So hopefully you all will have the opportunity to uh, enjoy such a thing uh, wherever you happen to be, and it will be delightful. So I'm just saying. There we are. Mm, maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure, because uh, I don't want to do, I don't want to do too much of it. See, the thing about this is it's, uh, it's actually going to be fairly tall, and so one of the things, really, the rain, I don't understand this, the, the, I wish there was a way to set the rain on, like, off. And don't get me wrong, uh, I'm sure there probably is. If any of y'all do know, go ahead and let me know. I feel like an idiot for not knowing. Um, but, you know, it, 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 especially in stuff like this, I guess I could have gone and put it in a, in a desert biome, but goodness knows, you know, they're, they're, they don't have these things usually in a desert biome. So, actually, maybe I'll do that to kind of break it up. I just don't, you know, you know me, I don't like, if you look at just about anything, um, unless it's a true skyscraper, like, you know, New York City style, uh, it rarely is it just smooth all the way up. Rarely, rarely is it like that. So, you know, why would, why would I do mine like that? Alright, I am going to go ahead and try and take these guys up, because I don't, I don't want to be all day on this. Uh, we do have to make it tall enough so that it it looks reasonably like a clock tower and not like just a clock a squat clock building. So we'll go ahead and do. There we are. So um, yeah, now one of the things I am going to talk about uh, since it's uh, it involves building. And because I, I, I think that the one video that I did mention it in, I have not posted yet, uh, <laughs> because it was going to be another, it was going to be another uh, <laughs> let's play uh, survival and in, uh, in single player. So uh, since I'm, I'm since I'm not going to do that, at least not at the moment, uh, I, I figure I might as well tell you. Um, uh, as many of you, I don't know how many of you get tweets um, or, or on Twitter. Uh, if you are, I definitely recommend, uh, as long as you're not very young and your parents are restricting it, for you to, uh, be, you know, because these are adults that are tweeting things, so, you know, I can't tell you whether or not they're going to use bad words, but uh, Dinnerbone and Jeb and them, um, you know, are full of all sorts of information of what they're doing. Uh, 
before it ever gets released onto Minecraft, before you ever hear anything about it or see anything about it. Uh, and it's really great, uh, you know, to have that source, uh, if you will. So one of the things that they uh, talk about, uh, that, that uh, Jeb was talking about, actually, was, let's see. See, I want to use some of these as, like, accent pieces, the furnaces and stuff like that. And what else was that? Oh, glass. That's what I wanted, glass. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to pause it here. One of my doggies is uh, here. i got to use it. But, all right, I think we're back. Um, yeah, my 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 dog is uh, not doing, you know, the thing she should, which is mostly not going to the bathroom, you know, all over the place. So, we have to keep an eye on her. Um, okay, so, light gray, dark gray. Um there's a you know again you know my my theory builders and that's that you know you should you should use what you like uh in order to build the things that you want to build so basically and then you can always come back afterwards too and change them accent them do whatever you need to uh to make you feel good about what what it is that you've done um so certainly there are lots of uh pieces in Minecraft that you can use like um uh, you know I, I could use all sorts of um whoops I could use all sorts of the cracked blocks or the um the the um mildew moldy covered blocks um you know, they, it it just depends on what what kind of effect you're going for. Is it an old place? Is it a new place? What kind of place is it? Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't want to go and, and you know, my 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 goal is to give you all ideas, not to do it for you. Um, and you know, so that you're kind of responsible for your own builds. And uh, that partly goes, I, I, I feel bad, and, I, and I'd like to kind of uh, take a moment to explain myself uh, in case he watches. Um, one of our players uh, today, Bateman, was uh, was on the server and I guess had a mishap where he picked up, um, let's see, one of the plugins that we use is a, is a jetpack plugin. It allows people to fly. Because I got so many people asking me originally, oh, can we fly? Can we fly? How come your server doesn't allow flying? Well, okay, you know, that did actually allow flying. Um, it uh, allowed flying with, uh, with redstone and coal. So basically, before you had giant coal blocks that you could make, or redstone blocks, you know, you had all this material that you didn't really use anything. You know, you didn't use it. So it gave use to those things, and it let people fly. Uh, plus, then I kind of didn't feel as, as guilty about, uh, you know, being an op and occasionally having to go into uh, um, to creative mode and flying around. Um, so, anywho, uh, but uh, unfortunately he, he wound up um, placing the block, I guess, that uh, in order to, to make one of the new solar powered, each each of the um, you can make coal powered, you can make redstone powered, you can make glowstone powered um, jetpacks, and in the process uh, of the, I guess they have recently updated it. Okay, good. That's that can be cracked then. In the process, they have now added a solar one. Well. On all the others, on all the other fuels, basically all you do is you right-click. First of all, you build a, you put an iron chest plate. You surround it with a, whatever material you're going to use as a fuel uh, in the crafting table. So that's eight pieces of essentially what would be your fuel and an iron chest plate. And basically, you get an an, an empty jetpack has no fuel in it. Well, you then go and take all of the. Uh, whoops. You then go and take um, and and use fuel. Uh, sorry, whatever whatever that fuel happens to be that you are that you're creating. Um, let, me, let me let me rephrase that. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. It just doesn't never works very well. Um, blah. There we go. Okay. 
first of all, I was trying to figure out how I needed to do that too. Um, whatever fuel you happen to use, whatever material you happen to use with the um, to make the jetpack itself, then you have to take that uh, material and use it uh, to fuel your jetpack. So, for example, if you let's say you've used glowstone, then you proceed and take you know a stack of glowstone or whatever glowstone dust, not uh, blocks, and uh, and you you basically you use them to uh, you right click in the air and it adds fuel, and uh, then of course that fuel that you add allows you to uh, a certain number of seconds per piece of fuel uh, to go and fly around. So yay, okay. Everybody's got that now. Um, the only problem is that they added a new one. They added a solar-powered one for all the eco-friendly folks out there. Uh, and actually, it was fairly ingenious. Um, now that they have the daylight sensors... Oh, that's right. That goes up there. Uh, now that they have the daylight sensors, they have... Um, they they basically said, well, you can surround a, a chest plate with, uh, with nether quartz. And in doing so... Uh, you'll create a solar powered pack. Well, that's great, but if it's truly solar powered, then that means either it does not require any fuel, or they had to come up with some kind of alternate fuel for it. Because if they simply said, you know, uh, fuel it with nether quartz, well, that's not the same as being solar powered, is it? So they basically created a. Um, a recipe for making a charging station looks an awful lot like a dropper but uh, it's called a charging station and uh, it has its own special recipe and uh, when you get it when once you complete the recipe and you pick it up it says hey this is here's a charging station great uh, the only problem is that when you put it down uh, you then have to place a you have to put it down somewhere where there's going to be light because otherwise the uh, Basically, you have to place the charging station and then add one of the daylight sensors on top of it. And, of course, if it's not outside, or if it's rainy, <laughs> anyway, uh, obviously it's not going to, um, you know, be very helpful. See, unfortunately, I, I really need to make this really a lot taller, so uh, I may cut this out. Uh, some of this out, but anyway, in the meantime, uh, let me f at least finish this. Um, basically, what you have to do is you have to make the charging station, you have to put it somewhere where there is a daylight, you have to put a daylight sensor on top of it, and then you place your um, solar powered jetpack inside the charging station, and you can actually, of course, charge up to nine of them at a time, which is good because you can't simply add the fuel, you have to you know, do it when the sun's up, and uh, and it will charge during during sunny weather. So that's all great. Uh, the only problem is um, is basically when you've got um, you know, when you go if you put it someplace where it's not going to work. Uh, unfortunately, it will then proceed to um, turn into a dropper if you pick it up. If you mine it and pick it up, it loses its lore, uh, which is very unfortunate. And um, and uh, I, I was not that sympathetic to uh, uh, you know to our our player uh, Bateman. Sorry, Bateman, I couldn't remember your name. Um, anyway, um, so I. I I'm sorry, Bateman. Um, you know, for for not being sympathetic. Uh, I. It's one of those things where, you know, sometimes, sometimes you make the boo boos, sometimes the boo boos make you, or, you know, that, that something along those lines. Uh, I, I don't, I, I can't fix everything, uh, and and for the most part, at least the charging station is not that expensive. It requires three iron ingots, it requires five cobble, and it requires uh, one. Um, piece of nether quartz, so it really is not that expensive, which is good, um, you know, because obviously maybe you want to have more than one, so well, hi, that would be good, right? Um, anywho, so uh, so that's uh, that's about the size of that. Um, I 
think the reason I brought that up is because of the whole um, daylight sensor thing and using that. Uh, tell you what I think we might do. Hmm. Uh, I could go up one more. Well, maybe here, I'll tell you what we'll do. I will fill these in. Obviously, I mean, I would not want them to be plain. And I may come back afterwards and show you the finished product. But uh, in the meantime, I think I'm just going to fill these in so that I can then go and get up to the next level and we'll have the clock parts. Now, are, are these pieces going to move? No. Uh, I'm not Seth Bling. Um, Seth Bling is awesome. Seth Bling can make uh, all sorts of stuff with redstone. Uh, Seth Bling could basically probably build my my actual house uh, in Minecraft and have it come to life, um, or at least he could with a, a 3D, you know, sensor thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I I don't want to try to be something I'm not. Because uh, I'm not, and that's all there is to it. Uh, I will go, however, sorry about this, guys. I guess I am going to add a little more detail. I just can't stand it. It's it's not even an OCD thing. It really is just, I cannot stand to have um, simple, plain walls that, you know, that should otherwise be adorned with something. they got to, they're, they're, you know, they aren't supposed to look like that. They just don't. Anyway, where were we? Um, so, uh, you know, anyway, this is no, this is not going to be a, a functioning clock tower in the respect that it would have moving hands, because I've seen those. I've seen them where the actual hands will move, or it's a digital clock, and you've got all sorts of numbers changing. Nope, nah, it's not going to be that way. Um, for one thing, I don't, you know, those are... are not only extensive in their in their redstone, but they just re they require so much more more space. I could never actually fit it in this kind of clock tower. Um, so you know, forgive me if I'm if I'm failing you in that respect. But uh, you know, uh, you'll get over it. I will get over it too. And uh, you know, if I ever meet Seth Bling at a at a, Mar a Minecon or something like that, I will say, "Wow, dude, you're awesome." Um, so, as a matter of fact, uh, to give a heads up, in addition to the Santa workshop, I know that um, Soccer Chick 2, my daughter, wanted to have some more father-daughter uh, Minecraft adventures, and so we probably will do some more of those. Uh, she really likes doing the mini game. She likes the Quake Craft on Hypixel server, so we may do some of that. But she also, as I was saying, speaking of Seth Bling, um, really likes the Blocks vs. Zombies. Um, now, for those of you who've played Plants vs. Zombies, it's a lot like that, only you get basically arrows and you have to keep the zombies from coming in and touching something, and you know, you have to shoot them and they get harder and harder, and etc. So, you think, okay, no, that's cool, that's great, right? Well, yes, but <laughs> um, it's also um, it's also rather, uh, I don't want to say difficult. Um, I'm trying to think, it sort of looks uh, uh, gargoyle-ish. Gar gargoyle I'm kind of trying to think of a place to put it. I could put them like around the top of something, or I could put them like here and here. Oh, yeah, all right. Again, these are just for accents. There's no functionality f for them. At least I'm not planning on any. You're certainly welcome to uh, go and hook them up to something. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, there's an idea. You could always go and take these, hook, uh, put daylight sensors on top of them, and basically make it so that uh, whenever daylight hit, uh, and they, you know, toggled on, they they spewed something out that they they well, obviously if you had dispensers, they could be uh, spew water out. Um, there's an idea. There is an idea. All right, I'll bite. Uh, let's do that. Let's go. Wait a minute. 
See, look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of stuff already. And we're going to go ahead and get daylight sensors because we will need some of those. I don't think I'm going to need any more glass at the moment. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to need any more cracked stone. Not at the moment. So, where were we here? There, there. Let's. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Now, obviously, maybe I have to put these on first. Okay, I'm listening for the click. I'm listening for the click that indicates that, yes, this thing is actually going to be activated by this daylight sensor. Now, obviously, if you're going to have anything... Uh, you know, coming out of these, uh, it's got to be contained at the bottom. Um, for example, you could always use it as a, uh, uh, if you had lava, you could use it so that during the nighttime, uh, basically, and now obviously that would mean you'd have to invert the current from this, uh, but you could basically go and have lava fall down out of this around your pit into a moat, you know, so that every night, voila, you know, you had lava moat. It would be that simple. Um, okay, so we've got that. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm not. I'm not worried about the inside until I get to uh, the clock level, and then we're going to use that for the daylight sensors, and go ahead and you know try to give it something to, some way to ding dong. So some some way to make noise. All right. So where was I? What was I talking about? I don't remember. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, soccer chick too, and what we're planning on doing. So anyway, she's really keen on doing that. We actually did it once. Um, one night, um, we had a select group of folks uh, get on. It was Corn the Zombie. It was myself. It was uh, I think I think Ryan, uh, who was on the other night with us, uh, got on it as well. Um, I'm trying to think, I, I know there were quite a few. Uh, and of course, Corn was on, Minot was on, Soccer Chick was on. Uh, it might have been one other person. Anyway, um, we, you know, it wasn't everybody, just because I wasn't trying to be exclusive. But frankly, it was, it was. There were a lot of of uh, of things going on. So, um, okay, let's do. There we go. Hmm. Darn it. Mm, that's not going to work. Uh, and there's a reason that's not going to work, because then it's going to be too small. I want it to be bigger. Oops. There we go. Sorry about that. I debated going in, but we'll have to go and stick with this level. There we are. That's better, cause, because I, I know it's it, it, it gives it more depth if we can go in one, but I can't. I need to have the, um, I need the space inside, and I need the, you know, basically, what I really need is this. I need to be able to have one, something like that. So, got to be able to do it. Got to be able to do it. And then, what we're going to do is do something like this. There we go. Something, something like that. <sighs> now, uh, if you were really good, if you were self being good, of course, you could use these and light up the um, only parts of this. Uh, that is part of what I plan to do. I plan to invert a current from one of these daylight sensors to light up these, um, these guys. Uh, at least I would like to do that. Mm, it might not work, but we'll see. Um, that 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 may take some doing, and I'm not sure I have the doing that it be taken. So we'll 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 see. Uh, okay, so we have that. Then, of course, from here to here, I'm just doing it one side at a time. Yeah, they're all symmetrical. Uh, do they need to be? Nope, of course not. Um, they don't have to be. Um, I'm. I find. I'm personally. I'm thinking that uh, that will work 
for me uh, for what I'm trying to do. Sorry if this is awkward. I was trying to listen for the dog and uh, I had the, the thing away from my ear. What in the name of Saint Ephesia Critus? You're so wonderful.